Well, it's an unusual Easter weekend for celebrations. Home sellers beware an eye opening look at how far a cough can spread and unique masks in the making. Joe Chiodo from KCTV 5 News this morning is here with a look at what's making news today. We start off with the similar subject we've shouted about the last three days yep. with this uh, uh, the Laura Kelly executive order uh, about churches. You could worship, then you couldn't. And now that it got rescinded again, and it's it, back and forth. It's, it's just all over, all the, over place. the place. Yeah, kind of like this virus itself. It's yeah. like one, it changes minute to minute. So churches, of course, this is going to be an unconventional Easter weekend like never before. But Governor Laura Kelly ordered no more than 10 people allowed to gather, as we know. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, that was revoked. Well, then she announced yesterday that she is going to sue the Kansas Legislative Coordinating Council that originally revoked that hmm. to say that they could worship. Uh, regardless of the legal fight that will now ensue, the, the thing you need to know going into the weekend is that most the very strong yeah. majority, if not all, are going to go online this weekend. Uh, it's important because at least three cases before the governor made this move uh, are now tied to churches. Three positive cases in Kansas have been tied to church gatherings. So oh, wow. that's the concern regarding all of this. Um, on that note, though, we also want to bring you something good that okay. is happening within the churches. So uh, listen to this. This is really cool. Lee's Summit Baptist Church. Uh, they have raised $22,000 for social services and wow. $22,000 to give directly to laid off food service workers in the form of hy gift cards. But the cool part about this is that this happened uh, at a time when obviously the world is in chaos. They can't pass around their, their uh, the you know, offering, the plate, offering yeah. plates to get money, yet they have raised a record amount in their church more yeah. than any other month. How neat so, is that? Yeah. And I mean, with churches like Church of the Resurrection and these other services bringing all their streaming online, I think we said mm -hmm. in a morning show this morning, something like 33,000 people yeah. were viewing their services more online. More people are actually watching and worshiping. So, yeah. you know, there's pros and cons. Exactly. Uh, let's go on to uh, home sales. So home mm -hmm. sales are down, obviously, in, in the Kansas City area, but it seems like it's a lack of inventory. That's the thing. So while the home sales are down, I guess if you are, you know, selling your house, they're still selling for a lot yeah. because the inventory is so low. But in terms of numbers, they're down 27% compared okay. to last year for inventory. So the way that impacts a lot of people is there's less to choose from. And then for those selling them, the real estate agents here, they're scrambling to offset losses in commission because they're, of course, selling less, even though when they are selling one, it's worth more. Yeah. Uh, nearly 2,000 people now working in real estate in the metro and the total cost of commission that they're losing is projected to be about $729,000 a day. Oh my yeah, goodness, so every day. just so per day. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now this is some animation that we gets, we, we saw here uh, overnight. Uh, so just to say you're going down the grocery store aisle and you can hear somebody coughing in the aisle next to you. This, this animation disturbs me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is it is disturbing. It's yeah. concerning and gross, coronavirus or not. Think yeah. about this when this is all over. Exactly. This still applies, but this is from a research group in Finland. They attempted to show how fast and how far a cough can go. Look at the right side of your screen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty gross, right? So that simulates uh, what this is like in a grocery store. Um, you know, a lot of these droplets that are in your, your cough or your sneeze if you're infected with COVID-19, mm -hmm. they're heavy. I mean, they aren't heavy to us, but in comparison of other yeah. droplets with viruses, so they are falling to the ground or they are falling on the shelves and the stuff around them. They aren't traveling as far as the cough, but they're traveling some. I mean, you can see here that it is it is infecting uh, uh, other surfaces and people. So here's the here's the reason this came out. A lot of people are wondering about that whole recommendation that we've been talking about this week to say wear your mask. Yeah. That too has been back and forth as we mentioned with everything. Um, but that's kind of the proof there that, you know, yeah. it's better to just do it. Just even be, if, even if it doesn't work. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, uh, and we find and out later it doesn't. Right now, it's the smart thing to do. Definitely, and then finally, you've got a really cool story, I think, about some unique masks and 3D printing to help yeah. out uh, people affected with coronavirus. I loved putting together this story. So we brought you this last week, but we have an update for you now. So this, uh, take a look right Right here this is a 3d printer and it is needed to print an attachment that goes okay. on top of a scuba mask to serve as protective equipment for doctors oh, so really? that attachment will then uh, hook up to a medical grade filter which can go on the scuba mask and then doctors can wear them and they'll be protected while they're testing these patients huh. uh, the whole issue is that they're running out of equipment so that's why they're using yeah. scuba gear which is weird in itself but the best part of this story is that the person making those is a fourth grade teacher uh, so she goes to Eudora Elementary and the doctor linked up with her. Uh, it kind of shows that teachers can be on the front lines at the same time. Definitely. And another great part about this is after that story aired, Renee from Riverside said that she had just gone on a scuba trip with about 50 people. <laughs> wow. They don't need their masks anymore. So now she is going to be donating those How masks to doctors. Yeah. 50 masks to go help out our first responders yeah. and doctors. Very mm -hmm. cool. Renee, 
Well done. You get a gold star good here job. on this good yeah. Friday. Well, Joe, thank you very much, sir. We will chat with you soon, okay? Yes, sounds good. Good week being here. Thanks for having me. All right. Now